Hi, this is a tutorial on Microsoft Teams and how to enable third-party cookies. So I know some of you will be using Teams and have come across something like this if you're using Chrome for Teams. And third-party settings, you have to allow third-party cookies and, and this might be an issue for some of you guys. So I'm going to show how to allow it or how to allow special permissions so that you can enable third-party cookies only for Teams. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to your top right corner with the three dots up here. Okay, you're going to click it. You're going to go Settings. In Settings, the search bar up here, you're going to type Cookies. Navigate to site settings down here. Now under site settings, if you can see this first word right here, cookies and site data, we're clicking this. Now there are two ways to enable third-party cookies. First way is the block third-party cookies. What you're going to do is you can uncheck it, and then this enables all third-party cookies. I understand some of you wouldn't like this option. So the second option, you can scroll down to allow third-party cookies, certain third-party cookies, and then you're going to click add. Once you do that, you're going to add these few things. I'm going to highlight them here. First, you're going to add an address called Microsoft.com and then click Add. So it's done like this. Click Add Microsoft.com and you click Add. Okay. Second is this HTTPS.teams. Microsoft.com. So you can you don't have to type the HTTPS part. You can just type teams.microsoft.com and click add. Third one would be asyncgw.teams.microsoft.com. And then the fourth would be Microsoft online dot com the fifth login dot microsoft online dot com and the six that you need to add asm dot skype dot com now once you've added all these six microsoft dot com teams dot microsoft dot com asyncgw.teams.microsoft.com, microsoftonline.com, login.microsoftonline.com, and asm.skype.com. Once you've added all these six, go back to your Teams. Just have to reload your Teams. So if I were to type Teams in here, and I should get a new message allowing me to go into Teams. There we go. So now I can go into Teams. Thank you.